All right, welcome back to another episode of Hercules One Playthrough in Nightfall. And you can see yet again, I'm in a not in Nightfall currently, but I am at Hell's Precipice. That's because in my previous video, uh, one of the commenters noticed that I was missing some pretty key elite skills. One was uh, Shared Burden, which I'm pretty sure I have Shared Burden. Let me double check. Because I would be surprised if I don't have that one. Especially because I am I believe I captured that one. Yeah, I have Shared Burden. Which I do need to give that another sh another look at in a build. But the commenter uh, also... Um, let me just make sure I got his name right. Okay, shout out to Valve Bounce. Valve Bounce 1695 for pointing out that... I, he he thought he or she thought I didn't have shared burden, but I do have shared burden. But he pointed out that I don't have panic, which is a very powerful skill. I can't remember which attribute it is, um, but it's in Hell's Precipice, which is the final mission of of prophecies. And I do remember uh, telling myself I need to come back and capture that skill. I didn't take a signet of capture last time when I went through here because it's it was very difficult. But now that I'm pretty strong, I got some heroes. Uh, it should be just a matter of walking up on them and just, you know, capturing this skill. So I am going to bring Zed because he is water magic, water and earth. But instead of, instead of earthquake, I'm going to bring maelstrom because it does cold damage. I don't know why I said it that way. Uh, they do extra, they do take extra damage from cold, I believe. So yeah, I'll be bringing foes on fire. Yeah, we're not gonna bring steam. I might bring ice spikes as well, instead of, no, it should be fine. Obsidian flame is good because it's, because it gives that overcast plus the swirling aura combo. So yeah, that, that's all. That's the only change we're going to make there. Um, so I got Zed. Elias is running. I'm going to take get rid of Soul Bind. He needs a very strong skill. Is he running curses? He's running decent curses. Yeah, Spiteful Spirit might be good here. Yeah, he's going to run Spiteful Spirit, I think. Actually, I don't... I don't know if he's got enough damn uh, energy for that. Let's just give him Flesh Golem. It's safe. Bone Horror, Flesh Golem. Or Discord. Let's give him Discord. And I'm going to run... Let's do Shared Burden, then. Standard build, honestly. And then, of course, Signet of Capture. And Dunkor is running heals, so we'll bring our Protector. Enchanter, because he's got Empathy. Eve for Energy Management. And maybe Devona for some Knockdown. I don't like to bring Sin here, because she does fire damage. Could bring three healers. I don't think we'll have enough damage in that case. Aiden, I think, is a good choice because he's got some interrupt, but he also does fire damage. Let's go with Devona. I don't really want to bring a fighter though. Anyway, let's see how this goes. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to edit some of my planning pre pre mission planning there. Let's go. Hell's Precipice. So we're looking for a Mesmer boss here. Which I think spawns randomly. So hopefully we can get a lucky one. Shared Burden is awesome because it makes uh, all nearby foes attack, cast spells, and move 50% slower. Which would be perfect against getting overrun by these guys. And the all nearby foes is a pretty massive radius. So it's going to be it's going to be great. Let's go ahead and use it there. And they're standing right in Maelstrom. 
they really get uh, very clumped up like that they spawn together the shared burden is just gonna make these guys so so slow might have been nice to bring some disenchantment I I'm noticing now Look at that. What was that? 92 damage. That was crazy. Oh, it was clumsiness. Okay. It's funny because even though he's interrupted with clumsiness, if if I immediately cast Signet of Clumsiness after that, it still pro it still interrupts them and procs the damage because he's considered in the process of attacking. So that that like Yeah, I'm not sure how that works. Like, what ca what constitutes as attacking? Is it mean like mid swing or just have a target selected? That's an interesting distinction. Ooh, look at those damages. I noticed last episode my volume was pretty low, so I'm going to bring it up a little bit. Maybe not that high. Music volume can go up. There we go. I feel like we're doing well. I'm not sure how well Sh Zed is doing. I'm I'm seeing him cast the um, Maelstrom, but it is a pretty long cooldown. He should be spamming Ice Spear. And obsidian flame. Okay, why are these guys not going down? Need to cast Cry of Pain, I think. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, he should be doing pretty decent damage. All right, keep your eyes open for bosses. I think I want to go this way, right? I didn't go this way last time. I guess there's two routes to go. Let's go this way. Those sparks of the titans are really nasty. I don't have any epidemic. I think that's what I'm missing. Um, like fever dreams or something. But still, like, Elias, he spreads that disease between them. That's why they're getting diseased right now, because they all share the same species or whatever. So I'm not, I'm not really seeing a lot of fragility spikes like I usually am. I love Swirling Aura. And then that Blurred Vision also targets adjacent foes, so it's pr it's pretty much 100% chance of... I know it doesn't work that way, but it's like pretty much 100% chance of missing whenever Swirling Aura is on us and Blurred Vision is on them. Because we have a hundred, we have a 50% chance to block, they have a 50% chance to miss. So between... I. I'm pretty, like, it's technically not a 100% chance to miss, but still, essentially, it's going to be very rare for uh, for them to beat both of those uh, rolls. Alright, get out of there. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't group up, guys. This is where minions really come in handy, and also Devona comes in handy. Oh gosh, it hurts so bad. I need to be going for interrupts, I think. There we go. Oof. Yeah, let's see how many minions. He's got one minion up. Uh, Flesh Golem would have been nice there as well. Alright, let's 
spread out our henchmen. There we go. And I'll try and aggro them a little bit. There we go. Nice maelstrom right on them. Alright, we should be safe now. I think they cast they cast their mind burn on me. Alright, perfect. Rod Gords did 200 damage to me. Oh my gosh. These guys are so deadly. Definitely, if you're a Necromancer player coming through this mission the first time, I would highly suggest going Minion Master because it really helps soak up some of those some of those uh, AOE spikes. Tortito Probo. It's a boss. Oh my gosh. It's a warrior boss. Take out the sparks. 100% take out the sparks. There we go. Let me try and interrupt this guy. Keep your eyes on him. Oh, nice interrupt. Yeah, they cast a uh, Maelstrom on him, I think, so. He's not getting anything off. He used all of his energy. What does uh, this guy have? Uh, Eviscerate. That's a great one. Axe. Um, elite skill. I guess I'd, I should have been Mesmer Warrior. Just in case I don't see the Mesmer um, elite that I'm looking for. Uh, they had to run away. Too much AoE damage there. I think that, ro that route that I just went is a little bit longer and slightly more enemies, but honestly fighting the, uh, fighting the Titans is better than fighting the Sparks. Nice. I still have two more. I was checking my, uh, lock picks. Still got two more of those left. Got a lucky interrupt there. We double aggroed? Oh no. Sparks, kick the sparks out. I didn't see sparks the first time. I was a little bit hesitant of going on, but I thought they were not going to patrol all this way up. I guess I'm mistaken. There we go. Magma's arm. That's a cool hammer skin, I think. Yeah. All right, they're just getting hammered there. Who is that, Dunkoro? <laughs> Crazy. Oh, I'm getting destroyed. Oh, they got me. There's too many of them. We took out those Risen Hulks a little too fast, so now we're overrun by these Fists of the Titans. I don't think my team has enough damage. There we go. Think if I can get these off. Keep them clumped up a little bit. Nice. 
Wow, that was really bad aggro on my part, but that goes to show how how good, uh, how much stronger my team is than the first time going through here. I would have wiped for sure the first time I had gone through here without my heroes. Whee! That was close. A lot of death penalty. Broken. Max required. Max damage, shorts. Oh, longsword. Fire damage. Cool. Not as good as this uh, vampiric health that we have, but still not bad. Let's uh, not make the mistake again. Let's take out the fists first. Shouldn't be in a hurry to take out the Risen's. Risen Hulks, Risen Ashen Hulks should honestly be last. Even though I am running a very like anti melee build with clumsiness and signet of clumsiness. When they're all grouped up like that, they're kind of a menace. There we go. Mol Moles Quibus. That's the uh, that's the uh, skill that I want to get. Very lucky spawn. Just the second second boss spawn. These are all random. All of these Titan bosses are totally random. Got super lucky. I think if we fight this guy. Oh, we're fighting on magma. Oh my gosh. It's not stand in the lava. There we go. Funny, he ran up into. I think he does melee damage actually, because he ran up to melee range to get that attack off. Right, let's go ahead and capture this just in case something bad happens and we wipe here. Also, I can use it. It's oh, it's domination. So for two seconds, target foe. And was it nearby foes? Are hex with panic. When a hexed foe, when a when a foe hex with panic successfully uses a skill, all other nearby foes are interrupted. So it's kind of like clumsiness, but instead of attacks, it it interrupts skills, and it doesn't interrupt the person you hex it with. How does that work? Because it target foe and all nearby foes are hexed. That's interesting. It's an AoE hex, like clumsiness, but instead of attacks, it's skills. And one person has to successfully get a skill off. That way, it can interrupt everyone else around them. All right, so we got the skill. Let's go back. Commodon. And we shall go to Dasha Vestibule for the next mission. All right, so now we're at Dasha Vestibule. We got our panic skill that we capped. And I'm going to be running heavy domination to use it with... I'm going to attempt to do some interrupting. But I brought some damaging skills as well. I've got three interrupts, essentially. I also changed Margaret to a Broadhead Arrow Ranger. This is a 
pretty good elite skill from factions. Um, and distracting shot, another interrupt. So we got quite a bit of interrupts. I dropped Dunkoro, so I'm going to use both of the healing monks from uh, that are offered. Uh, I'll also bring a domination and motivation, I think. It's not a lot of damage, though, is it? I feel like... I feel like we need some more damage, perhaps. Uh, I guess Sin. Yeah, Sin is always good damage. Okay, so this is Dasha Vestibule, a.k.a. the Hidden City of... Adashim. Um, we're trying to force the princes out of hiding, kind of in order to save them and to save Alona. But um, I think this is going to be filled with like traps and all sorts of hazards that we got to get through. We'll see how it goes. I was warned in the comments on my last video that this is a pretty tough mission. Uh, so we okay. Goran comes with us. Um, complete the trial in each chamber to open the way and enter zero out of three trials completed. And then I think the bonus involves like stealing some treasure or something. All right. Um, let me recap. What does Panic do again? Panic is a pretty good skill for a player because it actually it actually interrupts adjacent foes whenever the targeted foe successfully casts a skill so it's kind of like an easy it's an easy skill to not really worry about and it's is it nearby foes or adjacent foes nearby foes are interrupted relatively spammable as you can see Um, should be good. Look, I even got a cry of frustration interrupt there. So, uh, you know, if you if you watch my videos, you know I struggle with uh, landing the interrupts. So, hopefully with panic, it should, should increase my interrupting ratio. I also wanted to bring f uh, frustration because it actually does damage every time the... Why is this sorted like that? Every time the opponent is interrupted, but it's illusion. I thought it was domination. So it would be nice to run panic, domination, uh, plus having an illusion henchman later on. Once I get, once I get a uh, Norgu, but that's not gonna be for a while. The problem with panic is it's not really useful against single targets. Yeah, it only really is good against adjacent targets. Alright, where do I go? Can I go down the middle? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think there's like three routes here. And each route will unlock the uh, one of the other routes. I just can't remember. Defeat the Eternal Guardians to complete the Trial of Eternity. What is this? Whoa. Okay, we're moving super slow. Kind of reminds me of the Dragon, um, Dragon's Lair, the Glint's Lair in the Crystal Desert. There's like these environmental effects. Wow, this is gonna. It's gonna be tough. I think we're doing pretty decent damage. And I think it was a good move to bring to remove Dunkoro and just bring the henchman healers, because they're pretty effective. Probably better than my my Dunkoro build anyway. So I'm happy with that. Ruby of Adashim. I think that's what I gotta fight. Do I get any bonus? I didn't get any bonus objective pop up. 
energy surge. These guys hurt so bad. I need them to be a little more... Oh, I think I'm dead. Woo, that was close. Oh my goodness. Oh. Wow, I was just talking about how good our team was, but... They almost nuked us. The double E surge. That is rough. Boron's alive, thank goodness. Can't believe they made him level 18 for this. It's kind of ridiculous. I'm blaming him for my death. Okay, I was about to say, do I... <laughs> do they not have any resurrects? So those ether... Roaring ethers are the hardest ones. Oh, I missed the interrupt. Are you kidding me? All right, Ruby Key. That's what we needed, but I need to kill the. I need to kill. Okay, so we just got the bonus. So the keys open up chests, I think. All right, Roaring Ether. Let me ping my party back a little bit. And then keep them... Not next to each other. Ooh, Goran follows me though, that's a problem. Let's, um, let's bring everyone back. Let's get them around this corner. There we go. I just need to be smarter. I just can't, like... Okay, there's... So, Sapphire Guarded Chest needs a Sapphire key. Oh, no. I didn't mean to aggro. Nice, I got the interrupt on energy surge there. All right, we're good. If I can interrupt the energy surge, we're good. Thank you, thank you. And these guys are just paragons, so they're not a big deal. Obstructed? He, it, look at this glitch, I can't attack him. He's like in the wall. Luckily, your spells still go through. Okay. So I need to come back here with the ruby key. Did I see any? I don't think I saw any bosses yet. All right, we finished the first one. Having some lag, it looks like. Now that we finished off those pushovers, there's only two more trials to face before the door of the chamber opens. How do you know so much about this place? Just Margaret, please. I've done some, okay. A lot of research on this place. That's really weirdly rich and sin I've done some, okay. A lot of research on this place. I'm not really sure how they worded that. Keep Goran alive, please. His traps. Okay. I was really worried Goran was just going to run ahead. Honestly, I'm realizing also Elias is using 
he's kind of a minion master and I don't think these enemies leave corpses so it was kind of a mistake to bring it was kind of a mistake to make him um, minion master it looks like so if I fail this I'm definitely gonna have to change that What? Answer the riddles posed by the divine Jin to pass the trial of divinity. Nice, I got the interrupt. Let's go. Double interrupt. Searing flames is a very strong skill. Oh, he aggroed. Okay. Oh, no, he didn't. Okay. Let's pull back a little bit. Perfect aggro. Look at that. Very lucky. Alright, let's focus the ether here. Missed it. Got it there. Heck yeah. As long as you can interrupt energy surge, those ethers are pushovers for sure to steal Margaret's uh, <laughs> verbiage that she said earlier. Okay. Let's go ahead and just clear this chamber. Roaring either first, definitely. Domination, I always forget how much, like, Domination Magic does tons of damage. Very bursty. Alright, Sapphire to Jin. This is the, this one holds a key. And here are the riddles up here. I didn't look up any wiki, so we'll see how I do with the riddles. Oh, usually he starts with Mistrust. Why did he? That was weird. I was noticing the Roaring Aether was starting with Mistrust, not, um, not Energy Surge, so I waited a little bit. Diamond of Adashim. Okay, this is a boss, I believe. What skill does he use? Got the diamond key. Is he not a boss? Huh. I thought it was a boss. Ruby key. Uh, I need to make some space. Uh, this is a problem with not using any... Any um, storage. Really running out of storage. Okay. Alright, let's see if I can answer these riddles. My blade swings true and deals death to the enemy. The steadfast and the strong shall call upon me. That's gotta be Balthazar, right? I am the most brilliant of all. Doric came to me and cried for my healing. Who are my must be Duena. My land is cold and barren, as are those who live there. I walk the doom's wake. Who am I? It's gotta be Grenth. I am both the mask and the truth of the mask conceals. Sarah saw my true form. Must be L Lissa, right? Yeah. Pretty easy. I'm found in the fields of forest. That's Melindru. I made Ewan's people my stewards. And this must be... I am the shadow and seekers call not upon me lest you be damned. That's gotta be Abaddon. Oh, that was so easy. Come on. Come on, make it a little more difficult. I wonder if they ask the same questions in the same order for everyone. Uh, what keys did we pick up? I have a... 
ruby key and a diamond key so i can open up this one whoa 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 We got one. One of three. So I can go back and get that ruby key now. Or ruby... Oh no, that was a sapphire chest. So yeah, I need to go to the third area. And I'll be able to get the second treasure and the third key. And then go back to the middle area, get the... Second... The third treasure... And then I'll have to come back here, I think, to complete the mission. I think that's how it goes. Backtracking, my favorite. So far, so good. Uh, definitely, in hindsight, preparing for this mission, I think... Going interrupt was very smart. Going minion master was very not smart. And look at that, that's BS. So the animation is not correct. Um, yeah, interrupts are key for this mission. What else would have been good? More disenchantment, perhaps? Probably uh, something to slow down the casting time to help the interrupts be more effective. And maybe backfire would have been nice. Disenchantments for the um, dervish, obviously. Not that they're really an issue. Look, they didn't do any damage. I really like Zed. The blurred vision is so good. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. That white smoke needs to disappear first, I think. Go, 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 go. Ruby to Jen, Roaring Ether. Again. Honestly, I don't know which one's more important to take out first. The Roaring Ethers with Energy Surge or the Ruby Dijin with, with uh, Searing Flames. Because they're both extremely strong skills. Whatever. Yeah, I don't really like panic, honestly, for the single target. It's very nice for AOE interrupt, though. It's like a it's like a very strong version of cry cry of frustration, but cry of frustration is also useful even against single target. So that's a that's a little bit of a difference. Solve the crystal key puzzle to complete the trial of wisdom. Are there no bosses in this mission? I haven't seen a single boss. Gotta love the the dervish that deal zero damage. Like I know, oh sorry, the paragon. I know paragon is a useful, um, very wow, thirty eight piles of glittering dust. I know Paragon's a very useful profession, but by themselves, they're pretty useless. They're meant to be buffing teammates. So I'm not sure why they would just put Paragon enemies alone like this. Let's target this guy first, the person who I'm attacking, please. Thank you. Now this guy. There we go. Uh, 
Let's just go ahead and clear all of this. Sapphire. Oh, this is where I get the sapphire key from. So let's go ahead and just get complete the bonus. Ruby guarded chest of Adashim. So there's going to be some Dijin that pop up here, I bet. Yeah. Just totally nuked. That's awesome. All right. We got more treasure. Before I do this trial, let me just go ahead and complete the bonus just in case. Because I can't actually remember if the mission ends here or not. It doesn't look like it. It looks like I have to go to the central chamber. Yeah, let's just do this section here. So what do I do with this crystal key? Um, What do I do here? Pedo 6, 10, 14, 15, 21, 35. 2, 3, 5, 7. So it's like a... M so the numbers have some... The numbers have some... Uh, importance? Let me just click on one and see what I have to do. 6. What if I click on one of these? Seven. So I need to put two of these keys somewhere. Six, ten, fourteen, fifteen, twenty-one. Are they like these need to add up? So uh, what is that? Ten, fifteen, seventeen? Or are they mul are they multiply multiples? think so right seven times two we got 14 seven times three 21 seven times five is 35 we got 14 21 35 taken care of three times two is six three times five is ten and two times seven is 14 okay so i think i need to put them on i need to put this on obelisk seven what do I do? 14? Oh, okay. So 14 takes care of 7 and 2. So now 15. Is that it? That's it? <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, that was way easier than I thought. I was like, oh no, I need to like memorize multiples and stuff. Wow, quite a trial. The door to the prince is open now. Should be. Let's hurry the treasure. I mean, the princes are waiting. I have a bad feeling about this, Corin says. Alright, before we go to the central chamber, I need to get this uh, last chest. Do I still have the ruby key? Sapphire key, I mean. Go, 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 go. Nice. I think this mission would be really tough on hard mode. With, I mean, simply because of ETH energy surge and um, searing flames. Just those two skills alone makes these enemies just so strong. Last one. Let's nuke them. Got him. All right, completed the bonus. Now we just have to make sure we beat the last boss. I'm assuming there's going to be a boss at the end. Seeing how there's been zero bosses this whole time. Oh, there's three bosses. Oh, no. So we got a dervish. 
let's take out core mob first i guess oh my gosh they're just nuking me so hard <gasps> get out of there get back get back get back oh no oh, oh no we wiped Gorin, take him out. Elias, you have to live, buddy. He he can do enough damage. He's got enough corpses, and he's got Forminians, and he's got Discord. What's he killing himself with? Don't use Blood of the Mask. Live, 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 buddy, live, buddy. Oh, no. And what's Goran doing? Oh no, failure. Oh, someone got rest. Oh, he's got Signet of Return. Nice. Menlo needs to run away. Should be able to heal Goran through the wall. Okay, I didn't wipe yet. Nice. Goran's a tank. He can survive. This is this is a pro play right now that I'm doing, by the way. Look at that. Good boy. Margaret, get Margaret alive. And we got it. We win. Heck yes. Look at that. And we get Angelic Bond. For 10 seconds, the next time an ally with earshot would take fatal damage, that damage is negated, and that ally is healed with 20. That is massive. Wow. What a great skill. Definitely this will prevent us from wiping now. <laughs> GG everyone. We got, the, we got the three princes up there. Holy cow. Can't believe we pulled that out. Princess, your people need you. Go away. We're safe here. What good is security when your people are suffering? And if we can get to you, can't Varish do the same? No, no. You're right. We should use the djinn to protect our people, not ourselves. We have been terrible fools. Speak for yourself. Obviously, I must find a more secure location. Goran, fetch my sedan chair. Fetch it yourself. I quit. Quit? I am your ruler. Your leader. A real leader earns the loyalty of his people. He doesn't bully them. Fine. I'll double your pay. Forget it. There's more to life than just money. What did you say? Don't ever say that I said that. It would cost me my reputation. What the... What is that? It means we are too late.
Nightfall has come to Alona. Dang, look at that. Pulled out the Master's Reward, Near Wipe, and things have turned for an all time worse in uh, Alona. We're fully in Nightfall. And that's the name of this campaign, so you know that things are getting serious. Alright, so we finished Dasha Vestibule. First try, Masters. Panic was probably a good skill to bring. I think it had some clutch points. I think probably better than Panic would have been something like um, Psychic Dist or Power Block, maybe. Power Block probably would have been better. Maybe even Psychic Distraction. Something a little more um, reliable. Maybe my yeah something like shared burden would have been good. Something that that helps the interrupts happen more reliably. Okay, very good. We are in Kodesh Bazaar. This is the capital of Bobby. So there is some actually some pretty expensive and cool armor you can get here. I think is there armor trader here? I thought so. Anyway, uh, we're gonna be picking up here next episode i uh, hope you enjoyed this one this was a pretty exciting ending i can't believe i thought i was gonna have to redo that mission but we pulled it out uh thanks for watching everyone sorry the episodes have been out a little bit uh spaced out but i'm gonna try and get them out a little more regularly i hope i'll catch you guys next time peace